Mohamed, ou invité à son excellence, le docteur Mayaki, PDG de l'IMAD, vous avez la parole. Excellence, Madame Yance Kawanas, commissaire aux affaires sociales de l'Afrique, Monsieur Karel Issanouiden, directeur du Corée, Madame Precious Matoso, directeur du secrétariat de la santé publique, innovation de la propriété intellectuelle de l'Organisation mondiale de la santé, Madame Marika Esbel, du ministère des Affaires étrangères euh, des Pays-Bas. Euh, chers amis, collègues, membres du comité technique, euh, chers experts, euh, c'est un grand plaisir pour moi de vous recevoir ici en tant que hôte local sur cette question extrêmement importante euh, relative à euh, l'innovation pharmaceutique en Afrique. This meeting must be seen as a key step in realizing the goals of Africa's heads of state when they adopted the pharmaceutical manufacturing plan for Africa and the African Union Summit. Let me say very clearly that the, the main driver, leader, of this plan is the African Union Commission. And uh, I am particularly pleased to characterize the motivation, the commitment of Commissioner Guanas in pushing for the implementation of that plan. And that allows me to say a few words about uh, uh, NEPAT, which was a secretariat and which is now an agency. And the shift which was produced from the NEPAT secretariat to the NEPAT agency is mainly characterized by the integration of NEPAT as an agency <coughs> within the African Union which means very clearly, and this is for our partners, this is, it means very clearly that the NEPAD agency, what we call NEPAD Planning and Coordinating Agency, the NEPAD agency is a technical arm of the African Union Commission. It, it took us seven years to reach this point. Uh, fortunately, we have reached it. And that has allowed us not only to build more coherence, but at the same time to build more efficiency. So, uh, in toward our partners, whenever you talk to the African Union Commission, Commissioner Guanas, talk to me, the CEO of Nepal, and you interact with us. You must know that we behave as one team. And this is extremely important. It's extremely important for reasons of ownership. Because we think in the same direction. We interact in order to harmonize our activities. And being a technical part of the African Union, we have that mandate to facilitate implementation on the ground. So it's important to deliver this message and this is the message I am delivering when I meet the partners so that they know that on the African side we have coherence, we have common goals and we are looking for efficiency. So this meeting must be seen also in the context of two key roles of the NEPAD agency, which are knowledge management, project development. And the findings and recommendations of the study, strengthening pharmaceutical innovation in Africa, designing strategies for national pharmaceutical innovation, choices for national decision makers, provides knowledge base for new deliberations 
It provides an approach for African countries with the partners in research and the African pharmaceutical sector to take steps to reshape the future of pharmaceutical research, medicines access, and production for the continent. This then provides, as Commissioner Moranas was saying, a framework for realizing the prospect of local pharmaceutical development and production. If we do not go towards that goal and we don't take the necessary steps and build the necessary means to go towards that goal, as the Commissioner was saying, will be a passive spectator of world affairs. So what we are talking about today goes beyond the issue of pharmaceutical innovation. And uh, it's the generation of Africans to which we pertain has drawn quite a few lessons of what has happened in the last 50 years. We are at the turning point, and I, 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 uh, I was quite impressed at the last African Union summit to hear heads of state very clearly state that in order for us to reconcile ourselves with the issues of development, we should stop being beggars. This comes at the highest level. It is the realization of a condensed lesson. And it is the projection of a will that we should build by ourselves our strategies and with the means by which we want to attain these objectives. It is a profound reflection, and it is a reflection that will have strong consequences on the years to come. I am totally convinced of it. So I will not go through my speech totally. I would like to thank the partners who are here with us for the support, reiterate our will to work together, our priority given to implementation, and wish you the best deliberations. Thank you.